What's going on? Who is wearing this scent? You know, you don't want to be a wallflower. You're trying not to stand back. You're trying to stand out. So for me, I, I, I would love, you know, to attract attention with the ingredient that nobody knows. Yeah. I'm a scent wardrobe person, so I like to mix it up and express okay. different moods and ideas. Now, having your own brand, tell me, what are the fragrance trends that you've noticed? So actually, I, I noticed three big trends. I think we all talk about gender fluidity. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that a woman can have a beautiful wood in it or a man can have a rose. Mm -hmm. I see also um, a comeback to the naturality, the ingredient. People mm -hmm. want to understand what they put on their skin, what they are consuming. So we see so many exclusive collection built around a singular ingredient. And the third thing that I see is uh, but, um, the people want to try many scents. You, we mm. used to have, or mother were having one scent for their whole life, or perhaps twice. Yeah. Today, like every month we change, we are traveling. So, Daniel, are you a, a one fragrance man? Or you are no, like a, very, a scent wardrobe man? I'm a scent wardrobe person, so I like to mix it up and express okay. different moods and ideas. So yeah. how you will mix up, how you will create your scent for different occasions? Well, for me, the first thing is to try and an easy way to do it is match the ingredient to the mood I'm trying to communicate. So one of the handy things I found with your scent discovery box was that you have words that describe different moods. And so, for instance, if I wanted to be outstanding, I would pick something like oud. So I would pick that as my primary mood or idea that I'd communicate. And how but, you will contrast it, because oud is quite in your face. Exactly. So what I would do would pick an ingredient or an accord that would contrast this idea. Mm -hmm. And so for me, one that would work really well would be Ocean Odyssey. Oh, Those any citrus Or a citrus note, note so like the bergamot one too. Mm -hmm. And that kind of almost leads as a little bit of an intro into the, um, into the main idea, which is oud. And I think in fumery, it's all about contrast. Exactly. And it's like any ingredient, especially strong ingredient, mm -hmm. they have strength, but they have weakness. Mm -hmm. And as a perfumer or scent designer, it's how you contrast. Uh, and, and exactly. Bring, like you can layer the ingredient or you can mm -hmm, mix mm -hmm. with only you have the oil. So don't hesitate to, to play and, and layer and, and contrast things. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's a tough <laughs> question. So first day, first day you know no. a bit the person, but you know so, so, so familiar. Little. So you want to give the best facet of you, mm -hmm, show mm -hmm. a bit of of seductiveness, but not too much because it's your first date. You want to feel comfortable, confident, also mm -hmm. fresh. So I will go for my umber, my fresh umber, mm -hmm. fit your skin, like make it quite sexy, warm. Soft, and, and, yeah. and and then of course I want to contrast because I don't want to be in your face like, wow, she's too sexy. No, I want <laughs> to be a bit uh, elegant yeah. and, and fresh, as I say, because I'm a bit stressed. Mm. So I will go for a, a fresh note on, on top and ginger, I love ginger because it's citrusy, it's healthy, mm. it's very elegant. So again, when you pair them together, they will be wow. So I will make quite an impression and I will remain fresh, but there will be something intriguing in what I wear. I would agree. I would also pick amber, but there's also sandalwood. That's another amber one. Amber for you. So amber, yeah. Uh, but I also would pick something like sandalwood because it okay. has that suave, that kind of inviting warmth that you want to bring mm -hmm. in. And to contrast that, or maybe even complexify that, I would pair that with something maybe a little unexpected. So I would play maybe something like rose. Mm. So especially here yeah, on men, um, people aren't expecting a floral note, and so you want to. I like to play and, with people's and you expectations. You know, rose is the favorite scent of women, so you well, So yeah. why not put so rose why not? on you? Exactly. Okay. So, so rose sandalwood. Rose and She's sandalwood. An, an iconic. A, an accord. iconic accord, but it's an iconic thing for a reason. So work is an important place because we spend a lot of time there. Now we work in, most of us in open space, co-working space. So for me, it's important to respect the people around you and not to be too overwhelming. And I will come with something very soft, distinctive, like any fresh floral note, like a mimosa, a muguet green floral. Yeah. And I will twist it or layer it uh, or mix it. Uh, with a woody nut because woody nut is going to support you for mm. at least eight ten hours you know we spend a lot of time at work so one of my favorite mix is a 
mimosa vétiver, ah, oui. en muguet, euh, une cachemire wood, en bergamote cedar, you know, this kind of, of twist, uh, yeah. of layering works really well to, to keep you fresh, confident, elegant and, and discreet in a working environment. Well, for me, um, when I'm at an office, I want to feel focused, I want to feel calm. And like you said, it can be a stressful environment, so I want things mm -hmm. that counteract that. And so lavender, you know, can keep you in a very calm Absolutely. and yep, yeah, it can, relax. you know, it has that yeah. aromatherapy yeah. qualities to yeah. it, as well as sage, because sage is traditionally used to um, cleanse bad energies and keep you focused. Yeah. So and by it's so fresh and exactly. sage lasts forever. Exactly. So if we blend the two, that for me is a perfect combination that will get me through the workday without being too stressed, allow me to keep focused on my tasks and you know communicate confidently with people before you were contrasting now you're pairing so yeah. you're putting two ingredients that are like brother and brothers sister. exactly both yeah, aromatics that's nice. so for me the weekend is a way to reconnect with your family with yourself to get mm. a bit of peace you are in your garden so you don't want to be too overwhelming, too bold, so I will take something very natural. Mm. Like I love orange flower because orange flower, it, it's green, floral, very enveloping. It has this musky, very feminine aspect. And so I will go with orange flower and a bit of green tea, you mm -hmm. know, to, to relax, or a bit of musk, and, and I will wear it, you know, during the day and really to, to chase myself. What about yeah. you? You don't have kids yet. But <laughs> no, if no you kids. If you hang out with your girlfriend, or, yeah. what, what will you put? Well, for me, it's the same thing that um, I would like to have those feelings of relaxing. I would like that feeling of being open and invitation. And so for me, vanilla is a very, I, you know, some people see it more of a seductive ingredient, but for me it has this warmth and this kind of welcoming feeling. So, and I'd pair that vanilla with something, yep, like orange blossom or another citrus note, you know, so something that's a little playful, you know, because it's the weekend, it's time to play, it's time to communicate. Mm -hmm. So anything of those kind of notes, so either of orange blossom or maybe even just a simple citrus like uh, bergamot, bergamot or lime. So here you play the contrast. Yeah, you, you play the contrast, you twist the, the warm two. vanilla with something really citric acid. Yeah, uh, and it's that, it's that little, those play, that distance yeah, 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 between yeah. the notes. Here's your moment you can show off a bit, you know, yeah, with your yeah. nicest dress, you go to the hairdresser, you put your makeup, then you want a bit of sophistication and stand out. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I, I would love, you know, to attract attention with the ingredient that nobody knows. And we have a, a beautiful cannabis, hypnotic hair in, in the collection. Mm -hmm. So I would take my cannabis because it's, it's very healthy. Everybody would like, yeah, what's going on? Who is wearing this scent? It's green, very aromatic, a bit earthy. Fruity, yeah, earthy. And then I, I, I twist it with something super fresh and like mm. super unexpected, like rhubarb. Yeah. So rhubarb is acid, it's bitter. So a cannabis rhubarb, again, I play the contrast, like everybody will stop yeah. you like, what is this perfume, Joanna? So almost like a statement piece. And, and for you, how you will show up? Well, yeah. exactly, because this is the moment where, you know, you don't want to be a wallflower. You're trying not to stand back. You're trying to stand out. Yeah. For me, a big floral note yeah. on a man and someone is something that you're not expecting. So um, in our reggae collection, you've got the rose, but also osmanthus for me. Mm -hmm. I know that you guys have, I think that's this one here in the private collection here. Um, it's and very so from, leathery. Exactly, it's okay. very leathery, uh -huh. it's very apricotty, and it's also got a touch of this animalic note uh -huh. at the bottom. And for me, that's such a fascinating floral note. And for me, that really pairs well with um, the leather accord that uh -huh. you guys have got, uh -huh. and also the oob. Uh -huh. And the way that you put those two together kind of makes this big statement piece, uh -huh. and you want to be bold. And for me, those are the ingredients that kind of communicate that.